Hi, hello, uh, Kirtan here. Uh, so, I uh, wanted to give an update regarding my phone, the S23. The issue has been finally fixed now. Um, I got a screen replacement from Samsung. So in this video, I'll tell you like um, how we can resolve this issue. Like if you're facing this on your um, any Samsung devices. So I'll give some tips and tricks like uh, which you can follow and uh, get a replacement uh, screen from Samsung. As soon as I got the issue, uh, I immediately contacted the customer care and uh, what they told is like uh, you need to keep your uh, deposit your phone here in the service center and then you need to talk to the um, customer care and the service center guys uh, they were like uh, we can't do anything unless we get some approval from the customer care so so what they suggest is my is like uh, to keep my device at the service center and uh, talk to the customer care uh, as per my observation or whatever i had uh, um, faced so i think there are three levels of customer cares in samsung one is level one um, so where uh, so if you opt for call option or message or email so first uh, level of you know the customer service will react to your message and then uh, l2 and l3 I'll, I'll talk about that later so watch this video till the end so that you will get to know you know I, i'll give some uh, important uh, points to be remembered when you are dealing with customer care so yeah immediately i contact the customer care the first team uh, like my ticket went to the first uh, uh, l1 i call it like l1 l2 l3 l1 team and uh, immediately you know they checked my phone or they checked my ime number and uh, they simply denied that saying like my uh, phone is out of warranty it cannot be replaced uh, uh, at a fear of cost it has to be at the re uh, you know i had to pay for the uh, the repair charges and all so i declined it basically i what the what i told what i tried to explain is like I was not facing this issue till you know the latest software update. The moment I installed that update, uh, a few days after uh, I installed the update, I started seeing this issue, the pink line issue. And uh, basically, they did not agree for that at all. So all they were trying to prove is like um, your phone is out of warranty, sir. So we cannot um, provide you the the free replacement. And uh, I also did some research before calling them, and I came to know that S21 and S22 phones have already, you know, Samsung has a policy where they can give one-time free replacement. But they denied it for S23. I, I don't know why it happened, but in, they simply denied it, saying that, "Sorry, sir, S23 is not included in this policy." I'm, I'm like, okay, why is that? If you are giving, you know, the replacement for S21 and S22, then why not give it for? s23 so that was my one simple question and they did not have any answer for that uh, they told me like okay it could be because uh, uh, the screen might have been pressed like you know uh, whenever you keep it in your pocket or something i am what is that man your this is a flagship phone and uh, it cannot handle a simple day activity uh, then what's the point of paying 80000 and getting a samsung flagship instead of that uh, my 3 4 years old that chinese uh, 10000 rupees phone is still working fine so that is what i told them and after that they could not give any answer to me and then i suggested them to escalate this to their manager so this is the second level of uh, you know their customer care uh, i call this as l2 like I, i'm not sure about the name but i just call them l1 l2 l3 so finally they agreed to transfer my case to the l2 service and um, uh, initially they could not connect me and uh, after i called them couple of times and then after some time uh, they finally i, I uh, they connected me to their uh, su supervisor l2 and um, Uh, yeah the same story continued uh, uh, sir your phone is out of warranty uh, this is a electronic device sir um, anything can happen what is that man i am paying 80000 and um, 
I'm getting this response from my brand like Samsung that makes a flagship devices. I simply denied it and um, uh, at the end, you know, um, I, I escalated it basically. I, I told like, I need to escalate this to your higher management so that uh, this is the answer what you have given is not justifiable basically. So I told them like that and then finally my case, uh, they escalated it and uh, it went to the head office. So within um, 24 hours, I got a call from them and they asked for me for the invoice. And uh, after two to three days, they called me again and uh, they told me like, uh, sir, your phone has been, your complaint has been verified and it has been found that um, your phone has no scratches or dents whatsoever. So we would like to give you a free replacement. Uh, but I had to pay for the service charge, which would be around 650 rupees. Uh, so the entire uh, repair, repair cost is around uh, uh, 8,000 something and out of which 7,000 something Samsung is going to pay. And uh, 650 rupees I need to pay. So then, you know, I agreed for it and then uh, uh, the whole replacement Then they ordered the parts and it took around, you know, uh, a week or so to, to get it replaced and I got the device back. So you need to uh, make sure that you need to follow a couple of points. So first point is they will try to tell you that your phone is out of warranty. It cannot be replaced under uh, uh, for the free of cost. And all you need to say is like, um, Yes, I know that my device is out of warranty, but I face this issue only after updating the software. You have to specify this part. Otherwise, they will stick on their point saying your phone is out of warranty, we can't do anything. So you have to make them believe that it, it's something happened from their end. It's not because of your end. And second point is you, your phone should not have any dents and scratches. So if you, your phone has any, any some slight dents and scratches, they will simply reject it, okay? So then you don't have any options, you need to pay for it. So that's a second, that's a two point and the third point is like you need to um, escalate this basically, escalate them over the email, escalate them over uh, 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 or calls or chats or whatever just escalate this matter so that uh, the l1 and l2 service teams they cannot uh, they don't have any answers to give you and finally they will transfer your case to the head office also when you talk to the customer care just give them some facts like this is not a new issue uh, this is something happening especially after updating the software update and um, and also Samsung is already aware of this issue and they are already giving S21 and S22 a free replacement, a one-time replacement and ask them like why this issue happened and why S23 is not included in this policy so that um, they'll they'll get to know that okay this person has done some research about this issue and instead of simply declining it let's it would be better if we transfer this case to the higher management so you just have to make sure that your case will be transferred to head office so that's those are the three points which you need to take care of and um, yeah finally uh, once the uh, case got transferred to uh, the head office they uh, they verified it and then uh, they provided me a replacement so these are the steps you need to follow so in case if you are uh, uh, facing some green or uh, pink line issue in your phone so i don't know the reason for this <laughs> um, pink line issue i just asked them like uh, uh, would would this be a permanent fix uh, a replacement of uh, display right would this be a permanent uh, fix or um, um, it can happen again so for that they did not have any correct answer they told sir we did not get any uh, complaint after you know a replacement so that was their answer so uh, they are also not 100% sure whether this is a permanent fix or not but at least for now the issue got fixed and I just hope that it will not happen again in the future also this is going to be a one-time screen replacement which means they will replace it only once as per the policy or as a goodwill uh, unfortunately if this issue happened again then there's no option that uh, you will be you need to pay for uh, the repairs and um, as per my knowledge or uh, whatever i could uh, i as per my research uh, it happened due to a faulty uh, you know display pins it could be a manufacturing defect or it could be because of overheating overheating in the sense like 
whenever you do a software update your phone gets you know completely hot and uh, also when you are charge your phone under uh, like if you live in a warm humid uh, places where the temperature is high so there could be a reason where uh, uh, the display uh, you know those connectors get warm and uh, uh, eventually over the time of period it fails so this is the this is what i could understand but whatever it is it's their uh, quality control i would say they have to manufacture uh, in such a way that at least it has to long uh, last long for um, at least 4 or 5 years uh, see the phone has the software updates up to 5 years right so what we are expecting is like for 5 years the phone should run perfectly fine without any issue unless there is a damage from my end or customer end so that was my expectation uh, i did not i was not expecting this green line issue to be happened within just uh, one and a half two years of usage so just try just con- try to convey this message to the customer care and then finally they agreed uh, for the screen replacement now currently my phone is working completely fine it's as good as new now uh, so if you find this video helpful please do share with uh, some people who are facing this issue so just to add another point um, one of my friend has faced a similar issue in his uh, s22 and um, s22 it was included in that replacement policy so as soon uh, as soon as you uh, contact the service center right initially they will deny it because obviously the phone will be out of warranty so if your phone is in in within the warranty then you don't need to worry at all they will simply replace your screen just you just have to make sure that there is there are no dents and scratches in your mobile uh, what he told is like um, uh, he emailed uh, there is an one option in the, the samsung website uh, email to ceo so he selected that option and uh, he sent an email to the ceo and within 2 to 3 days uh, he got a call from um, the service center and then uh, same case they initially declined it and then he escalated and then uh, his case got transferred to the head office so all you need to make sure is if you don't find a resolution in the first two levels of their customer care so you just make to sure that your case will be Uh, escalated to their head office so this is not the usual video i make on my channel uh, i usually do travel content the video see already i'm on a ride motorcycle ride so if you are new to my channel if you like travel content then do check out my uh, playlist or videos in my channel uh, okay that's what i wanted to cover in this video uh, okay then yeah bye bye